And now I'm going to tell the story from Matthew 28. So the Sabbath day was over now, and it was dawn of the first day of the week. And Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to look in the tomb. Now, we don't have their characters, so you just have to pretend that you are Mary or her friend. And there was a powerful earthquake. An angel of the Lord came down from heaven. The angel went to the tomb. He rolled back the stone, and he sat on it. There he is, sitting right there on it. Now, there had been some guards there, and they were so afraid that they just shook and became like dead men. So maybe they fainted. But the angel spoke to the women, and he said, Don't be afraid. I know that you are looking for Jesus, who was crucified. He is not here. He is risen, just as he said he would. Come and see the place where he was lying. Go quickly. Tell his disciples he has risen from the dead. He is going ahead of you into Galilee. You will see him. Now I've told you. So they went back, told the disciples. And now I'm going to switch over to the John passage. And so this is what happens. Peter and John. And at this point, the angel is out of the picture. He's not around. There is a the stone has been rolled away. And John peeks in. And Mary is following behind him. John peeks in. And he sees that cloth all wrapped up nice and neat. It had been wrapped around Jesus' head when he was put in the tomb. And then Peter looks, walks all the way inside. And then they run back home. And then Mary, and I'm going to switch my stones again. And Mary goes back. And she's crying. She still doesn't quite understand. She did what? The angel said she went back and told the disciples, but she wasn't quite sure about this. And she begins to cry. And the angel tells her, let's see, I've got to look and see what the angel tells her. He says, um, woman, why are you crying? And she says, well, they've taken my Lord away and I don't know where they have put him. Then she turned around and she saw this man standing there. She thought he was the gardener. And she said, Sir, do you know where they've laid my Lord's body? And then something happened. He said her name, Mary. And she recognized his voice the minute he said her name. Do you recognize your parents when they say your name? They know you better than anybody else. And Mary knew Jesus so well. Maybe she didn't notice at first that there were nail marks in his hand to indicate that he had died on the cross. And so she bent down and she began to cling to his feet. And he said, oh, don't do that. I still need to go up to my father. And that is my retelling. I'm going to stop there, but you could read some more. Well, happy Easter to all of you. And I want you to remember that Jesus loves you, and so do I.